In this tutorial, we will learn how to add text to any curved surface like this. We have created a model, and named it as Bulb. We will use this object, and add some text on its surface. So go to the Add menu, and add a text field. We need to bring it outside, so that it is clearly visible. Let us also rotate it to have the correct facing. So go to the Properties Editor, and change its X rotation value to 90, and also the Z rotation value to 90. And, in order to make this center aligned, go to the Text tab. Then in this Alignment section, change the Horizontal Alignment to Center, and also this Vertical Alignment to Center. Let us add something different in place of this default text. So, go to the Edit Mode. Use Backspace to delete everything and type in the new text. We will use our channel name here, for example. Once this is done, go back to the Object Mode. If you want, you can also fine-tune the font size or the line spacing in the text tab itself. First expand this font section. We can change the font size from here, say 0.75. Let us then go to the line spacing, so scroll down, to this place. Let us make it maybe, 0.85. Okay. The next step is to bring this text field closer to the target object. Very close to it. But remember, it need not be perfect. Just maintain some gap and bring it sufficiently close, that will be enough. Now, we have to bend this text field to match approximately with the surface we are trying to project it to. I have discussed in details in another tutorial on how to bend a text, the link is in the video description, you can check that tutorial if you are new here. So, first hide this bulb object, just to make this place little clean. Then, go to the add menu and add an empty. You can add any one of them. Let us add a cube. This cube should have the same transformations in the X and Y directions as that of our text field. The text field has a displacement in the x-axis, and a rotation of 90 degrees around the x-axis. We have to apply these same transformations to the empty object. Let us make this location value a perfect 2 instead. Now, select the empty object, and change its x-location to 2, and similarly, the x-rotation to 90 degrees. This part is very important, otherwise nothing will work correctly. Now select the text object, Go to the Modifiers tab, and add a modifier called Simple Deform. Switch over to the Bend tab, and in the Origin field, select the empty that we have just added. Select Y axis here as the Bend axis. You will see, if we now change this angle up or down, we can bend the text as we want, which looks good. But, if you zoom in and check minutely, you can see some artifacts like this, all over the text. Let us add some material for this text field. So in the Material tab, create a new material and select any color, maybe red. Then, let us switch over to the Rendered View mode. We can now clearly see many artifacts. This happens because the font geometry is not quite compatible with the bending operation. In order to rectify this, first delete the Simple Deform modifier that we have added. Now, in the Text tab, expand this geometry section, and in the Extrude field, Enter a small value, like, 0 0.01. Then go back to the Modifiers tab. And add a Remesh modifier. Do not worry about this abrupt change, or destruction to the text field. Switch over to the Sharp tab. Deselect this option that says Remove Disconnected. Now you will see that the text is back, but it is very much distorted. So, just increase this Octree Depth value. Somewhere around 7 or 8, you should get back the text in the perfect shape, otherwise increase the octree value little more. Now minimize this modifier, and add the simple deform modifier again. Switch over to the bend tab. Then in the origin field, select the empty as before. And select this Y axis as the bend axis. Now, if you change the bend angle, and deform the text in whatever way needed, you will see that there is no artifact any longer on the surface of this text field. It looks very smooth and very perfect. Finally it is ready for the projection on the target object or the bulb. So, let us unhide that object now. We have to ensure that the text is bent as per the curvature of this object's surface. It need not be perfect at all, we just need to bend it approximately. So, change this angle as appropriate. We will go with this value, where it seems to have a similar curvature as that of the bulb. 
We will now project this text onto this surface. So, minimize this deform modifier, and add another modifier, called shrink wrap modifier. After that, in the target field, select the bulb object, where we want to project it. And in the wrap method, select the project option. Then come down here and select the z-axis for the projection. And keep both the negative and positive checkboxes selected. The text now is projected to the surface perfectly. But, if you look closely, the text is not very prominent. Because it has zero depth, it is overlapping with the object and just partly visible. So, in the modifier section, scroll down to the offset field. Enter a very small number for the offset, like 0.01 so that the text is clearly visible, but it is not lifted or separated from the surface of the target object. Now, if you move this text, upward or downward, it will remain glued to the surface of the target object. You can place it anywhere on this object, as you like. Sometimes, if the surface has lots of curves, the result may not be perfect. In that case, change this snap mode to outside surface. It will definitely give a better and a more accurate result. Just play with these fields and discover what is best for your case. In place of this project option, you can also select another useful option, target normal project, for a different type of projection. While it can give some artifacts in specific positions, it has a different look and feel, which may be required in some cases. It depends a lot on the exact profile of the surface and the length of the text field. It looks far better on the spherical part, and the simple projection looks better for the cylindrical part. But in either case, please use the outside surface option in the snap mode for a better output. If you want, you can join this text now to the target object, in order to make a single object which you can move or rotate without any problem. That's all for today. I hope you like this tutorial. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.